Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Wave at WPI, checking with 946 Whiteout, an absolutely phenomenal team, 946W Whiteout. This robot is one of the coolest machines that I have seen so far in the Ober Under game. They have an absolutely phenomenal uh, mechanism for the tri ball, so I can't wait to see what that looks like. We'll be, of course, showcasing all that and everything that's gone into it, not just the aesthetics, but how great this robot performs. Already one event win under their belt so far, so can't wait to see how they do here at the Wave at WPI coming up here on Pips and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Bree, we really got to start off with this tri-ball hitter I've been hearing about. Uh, I've had teams tell me to come and check out your team for this tri-ball hitter, and of course we'll be covering the wings. So talk to me more about what it is and how did you come up with it as well? So our hitter has a 1200 RPM and it uses two motors to run. We came up with this design because we knew we wanted a fast way to get the tri-balls over. So we thought we don't want something like a catapult that will have to reload every time you have to hit it. So we came up with an idea that would just set it down and hit it over, over, and over every like time we set the tri balls down. When you're looking at uh, approaching the game from that way, uh, you know you face a lot of blockers and stuff like that as you go through. Have you found ways to kind of mitigate that, or are you just so quick you don't have to worry about it? How does that work out, Matt? Strategy wise, it really depends. Sometimes if we are blocked, we'll just like hit the robots again, yeah. and then we have a pretty strong drive base, so that will allow us to hit them out of the way but it really goes pretty fast throughout it. We also have started with a new strategy of going to both sides of the field. So we will match load from one part of the field and then go to the other side and match load from that part. I'm glad you didn't see that came out in like demolisher robots or anything like that. It's <laughs> definitely got a little BattleBot-esque to it as well. Can we see a tri-ball? Like show me how that actually works uh, with uh, shooting those out. So it's got a pretty good arc to it actually yeah. as it goes through, which is really cool. Uh, and it seems like it speeds up pretty quick again. How yes. quickly are you able to do your match loads? Uh, I think our average is like around 25 seconds sure. or so. Very cool. Uh, another thing as well, too, these wings that you have in your robot uh, are probably the widest wings I've seen. I know we were talking about earlier, uh, I said it's right out about max width for it. So uh, mm -hmm. talk to me about uh, the composition of these uh, and uh, why you decided to go so wide with them. So we are realized early on that wings were going to be pretty important. We got our idea from 229V, Ace Robotics. and. This idea is it will allow us to also jump over the barrier. And we took their idea and we added onto it by making it a larger width. With our old wings, we found out that it wasn't going to be as strong as these new ones are. So we learned that if we could back it up by metal as well, it would allow for both strength and flexibility. Let's keep moving on this robot. We got to talk about the uh, intake uh, that you have, and as well as the uh, polycarb, Ethan. Uh, I got to ask you, like, there's so much polycarb in this robot. What made you go that way from a packaging standpoint? And then uh, talk to me more about what your intake is too. Okay, so we chose to go with polycarb on a robot because it's really, it's just really easy to build extremely compact um, mechanisms, designs, and it looks really nice too. Um, making it is extremely easy for laser cutter. You can have about any shape you could want and it just makes it really easy to fit everything into a smaller space and have a nice compact design. As for our intake, um, we use some more polycarb to secure a small motor, so it doesn't have a cap. <laughs> we just um, use this to save on space for our blocker. We attach this with a piston and an axle and a coupler. Um, special feature of our intake would be the blocker mech, which is attached by a static chain with a 2 to 1 ratio, so that when it folds down, um, it can sit nice and go under the goal. And then when it comes up, if it has air, <laughs> it'll be able to hopefully block opposing teams. As for intake, we went with rubber band rollers. Well, not rubber band rollers. We used to have that. It didn't work as well, so we switched over to flex wheels. It works really well with intaking tri-balls and just a 
Nice, small, compact intake design. Your team is such a powerhouse offensive-wise. Uh, adding, uh, having a blocker on your robot, do you find yourself during the match you will be using as well as the meta balls? Because it, it really has been changing. Like Teams who are very versatile seem to be very successful in the current meta of the game. Uh, we hope to hopefully test everything on this robot and get to use it in match. All right, we'll find out, I guess, uh, for as well. Uh, America, as we start to wrap up with this robot, uh, we talked a little bit about the polycarb on it, but the overall packaging of this robot is just absolutely gorgeous uh, as well and just very well uh, created as well. So talk to me more about that, and then let's wrap up with your hanging mechanism. Too. Yeah, so we decided to use polycarb to make it really small and since it's really small we're able to fit under the goal. Uh, since we're able to fit under the goal we're able to de-score uh, tribals whenever they are double zoned. Yeah, and then our hanging mech, uh, we decided to go with a simple stick since not very many teams are hanging at this time. And if they are hanging, they're usually getting an A or B tier, so we're at least hoping to get 15 points to hang. Looking at uh, future competitions past this one, are you, would you look at doing something uh, greater than like an A, B tier hang uh, out of it? No, not really. Since we're wanting to be able to fit under that goal, to having a hanging mech would make it harder to yeah, that's a great point. Able to uh, go through the field with ease. Uh, once again, uh, Whiteout, absolutely phenomenal machine. I can't wait to see how it does here at the Wave at WPI. So good luck here, of course, at this event. And can't wait to see how you do through the rest of the over-under season. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.